Hello everyone, we're in Microsoft Flight Simulator using the Autumn update of Flight Control Replay. Seemingly just a replay system, but it is a lot more than that. And if you stick with me on this video, I'm going to show you some pretty cool things that this replay editor can do. Now, right now, we're just recording the replay into TNCM with a C-208B landing, and we're going to taxi off the runway here. And we're going to do several things with the track. Now, the awesome thing is you can really use this to train and practice because you can record an approach and then you can then replay that approach and take control of the aircraft from any point you want. Now, to do that, we're finished with the flight. We're going to click Load and we're going to click C-208B. That's the file we save and we're going to open that. And once you do that, you have complete control over the track from the moment you started recording. You can record the whole flight or you can record it on approach, whatever you want to do. You just hit Play and you can move it up anywhere you want. In this case, we're gonna move it uh, to where we're lined up with the runway. And from there, you have the freedom to change anything you want about the parameters around the flight. You can change the time of day. We can make it a, a night approach if we want to, if you wanna practice something like that. We can also toggle the weather. If you wanna practice with a crosswind or a sunset or a storm going on, you can do so. You are free to change all of that stuff. And from there, you are free to replay the flight. And this is all normal. This is all the basic normal stuff that you've seen within a replay program. But I'm going to show you something pretty cool here. Now we're in the 747. We're about to hold short on the line there to take off from runway 10. And let's say you want some traffic going on with your flight. Well, you remember that C-208B flight we just recorded? We can come up to Play AI, and you can select a track that you recorded at a specific airport, turn the offset to zero, and that'll give you the exact track that the aircraft was flying, and you can then load in that flight and watch the track you just did from the aircraft you are currently flying. And you can add up to four aircraft like this, and we can watch it come in externally and uh, you can get very creative with this you can follow aircraft on the ground there are a lot of things that you can do with just your imagination and ideas so that is uh, a really cool feature that's coming out here you can also let's say we want to watch this with a sunset instead like i said we can we can change all that weather if we want here we put it as 4 p.m and now we can watch that 208b come in through a sunset with our current 747 here on the taxiway. Two. And we can do the same thing with our 747. If we wanted to insert this as traffic while we wait, we can do so as well. 50. A pretty cool feature of this replay program. The people yeah. down there seem to be happy about it, but if you think you're happy about that, I'm going to do you one better. Check this out. Now, we're in the MB339 in Italy, and we're recording a track um, right now, and uh, I'm going to speed it up to show you the path. We're just going to record a short path. It's sped up to about 500%. We're going to fly the runway heading. We're going to fly over the city. And this is all going to be recorded, and you can come back to these at any point you want. These files are saved. You can always come back. You just need to load in near that air or at that airport to uh, to see these things happen. And now we've loaded in again as the MB339, and we're going to click that flight we just did again. Put the offset as zero to get that exact flight path. Hit save and close, and then when you're ready, hit the play button on the player and I'll be damned the plane is now there on our left and we can actually fly with it now you can do entire fleets of these things like I said you can do up to four aircraft currently and fly with those planes so we're gonna line up on the runway with that plane and we're gonna fly with it now the only downside is that it is kind of choppy the replay at least with planes that move quite a bit faster you will get that jerkiness, and I have seen this on multiplayer as well when flying with people. So you do get it with this replay at this current time. Now this could change. I know Asobo is updating 
this type of thing uh, coming in with their air races. It's supposed to be a smoother performance when it comes to that. So with the choppiness, that uh, it, it's hard to fly with the planes right now, but right now to be able to have that tech to do it, I'm very impressed with. Now here I am recording another flight We're over the airport graveyard, and then we're in the pits flying it around on another track because I'm going to show you how it works with a slower plane. It's not as choppy with a slower aircraft, um, but it still is just a little bit. So here, here we are. This is the ghost flight we just recorded, and now we are flying with it. Essentially flying with ourself. And you can see it's a little bit jerky, but a little easier to fly with a, uh, a slower aircraft. So once that's fixed, it's going to be a lot of fun to do your own AI traffic that you can actually control. You could practice formation flying. You could put on air shows. There is all kinds of stuff that you can do with this replay program. Now, things like this, I think, keep uh, software like this relevant. I have doubts that the one Asobo will be providing will have uh, some of this stuff, but I could be wrong. But uh, for right now, this is one of the ways to get replays going in a Microsoft Flight Sim and have a little bit of extra fun with it as well. So I just wanted to show you guys how this is shaping up again. This is the 2021 autumn update. I assume there will be another one for winter 2022. So we're going to pay close attention to how this pans out. It's, uh, it's looking like a real nice piece of software. So leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of it. And in the meantime, you guys take care. See you next time.